Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody was watching a video about my text of path that I just put on the other day, and they were asking how you do it on the bottom because it always comes out backwards. So if you just take your text and go text, text the path and put it on the bottom, you can see it's upside down. But if you mirror it both directions, you get that, and then you can still move your path downward. And if you hold down your control button, it'll be perfect. Now, another thing you can do is to mirror it both directions before you put it in there, and then go text, text a path, and now when you do it, but see how, it, because of its capitalized letters, it doesn't work that well, but you can always grab the shape tool and just move this outward. And if one or two letters are still too close apart, you can grab the shape tool and click on that and you can move that one letter, you know, and you can move all the letters on that path until you do anything. Now, if we take this and select our text and well, let's select it all. So select everything, go up to object, break text apart. You can grab your text now, go to text and straighten text and you're back to where you are if you made a mistake and you want to do something else. Now, you know, on top, it's totally different because it works every time. So let's go to text, text the path and put on the t on the top and see that red line, it, it means it's in the center. So the letters are perfect. Now let's change, let's go backward and let's change the case of these letters to title case. So we have normal looking writing. Now we're gonna do this text to path on the bottom and we'll go ahead and mirror them, text, text to path and put them on the bottom. See, now we don't get that overlapping letters. Um, it's a little bit different because, because the T is a lot off the more right on the line compared to the M just because it's a capital letter. And, you know, if you want to go all the way around and have the word uh, like if you were writing on a coin you could let's go to and let's just add another line so let's put a space there and i'm going to do it just like the other one and this is how you would figure out how to now we're going to take this ellipse and convert it to a curve. We're gonna look at it with a shape tool that's going the wrong direction. We could sl uh, select it all, right click, and turn it, reverse the sub path. So this way it's gonna be going the right direction. But now that it's a curve, we can measure it, go to Docker's properties, and that ellipse is 52.45. So if we take our text, if we wanted to go all the way around, you don't want to go all the way around. You want to have some space, but we can make it 51.45. And my ratio is locked, so the letters are going to grow equally. And then we're going to go text, text the path, and put it on our path. And now you see we have some all the way around. And, and that makes it look good if that was like on a coin. But if you have two lines, you want it readable. You have to do it the other way. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.